Hey guys, so I want to show you uh, for anyone that's been having difficulty getting the Sonic Projects uh, Synth OPX Pro or one of the other synths that they have uh, running on your PC or on Boot Camp. Um, hopefully this uh, tutorial will help a little bit. Um, I haven't had it for too long, but um, I have solved some of the issues. Initially, when I would drag uh, the instrument in, and by the way, you just install this on your PC just like you would any other VST. So you just set it up, and then you just restart um, Ableton, or you can come into your preferences and file folder. And then just hit the rescan button and it'll rescan the plugins and then your plugin will show up. So previously when I would drag this in, um, I would get no sound and Ableton would lock up and eventually crash. So I wasn't really sure what was going on. Um, I was using my internal sound card and after having a conversation with the guys from Sonic Projects, um, they told me that you need this uh, plugin. If you don't have an ASIO card, you need to get a little program called ASIO for All. And it's really easy to find. Here, I'll just go ahead and search this real quick. SIO number four all. There you go, and then just download in whatever whatever language you need, and click download. It'll be all ready to uh, to download for you, and just install that like a normal program. Um, Then restart Ableton and it'll uh, give you the option in your audio driver menu. Then you choose ASIL for all and then you're going to come into hardware set. And this will give you your, uh, your choices. So if, if you have more than one sound card, uh, you can choose which sound card you want to use. And once you got that, this uh, synthesizer will work perfectly, or mostly perfectly. I have found a couple little quirks, but the sounds on this thing are so good that it's well worth any slight inconvenience. Um, for one, as you can see, this doesn't take up a whole lot of CPU, um, although if you start stacking these and using several, uh, you want to be careful because it will start using CPU. Um, so I'm just going to hit my keys and what, what you may notice is I'm not registering um, MIDI. Something about this synthesizer, oftentimes you need to turn this off and then back on and then it'll work fine. Also if you're changing sounds from, oops, if you're changing sounds from here, it's going to do the same thing and you'll need to reset this by turning it off and back on. Only a slight inconvenience. If you switch your uh, presets here with these arrows, you won't need to reset it. And the sounds are just incredible on this thing. Um, if you want to get more sounds here actually before I do this, you'll notice here that you've got um, 128 sounds to work with. But if you want more of the sounds that are available to you, you're going to go into uh, Load Bank and then just pick, for example, I'll go into Bases and uh, choose that sound. There we go. And then I'll just reset this. And there you go. You got uh, OPX playing perfectly 
on your PC or on boot camp.